And up. Oh, oh, yeah, that's okay. Oh, 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 oh. Good job. See there? You can do it. You can do anything, can't you? Anything you put your mind to. In my job as a restorative aid, I work with them to strengthen their limbs, to help them walk. I invent exercises for them. Uh, I try to find out their hobbies, what they done when they were at home, and I try to set that into the program. Well, I decided to be a caregiver because I thought from a young age that um, that was my calling, to care for people. I was always, even as a child, if I seen somebody in need, I would try to help them out the best I could. And I just get a reward out of being able to care for people, knowing that they need my help. Well, I've known Linda Barton for about 20 years, and uh, I've known her to be a, an outstanding caregiver. She's very, very compassionate and she has a, a passion for the elderly that, that I don't often see. I thank you for taking some time out with me today and doing your exercises. You're showing a lot of improvement. Linda Barton was person-centered care before that became a buzzword. She, uh, she truly exhibits culture change. She individualizes goals for residents and she looks at what's what's important to them, what have they done in their past. Well you've got a lot of stuff here to cherish. You know that? That must have been what you wore when you were in the service. And and even if the goal is something seemingly trivial, um, you know, able to walk to the bathroom independently or something, she she works with them to to get to that point. You're getting stronger, you're pushing it all over the place. And I always tell them, you know, not every day is gonna be like, uh, maybe today's good, tomorrow's not so good, but don't give up. I have a sign in my room that says one day at a time, and that's what we work towards. We get through that day, and we worry about the next day when that time comes. I know we had a lot of fun together, a real lot of fun, talking about our past and and all the things we, we did and we and so we we really got to be really really close okay well see you tomorrow thanks for your hard work oh thank you my dear love you yeah i love you all right i'll talk to you later all right I do have one resident when i was working with her they told me just to do just the simple exercises because she was not going to be able to walk again because she hadn't walked for two years. And the more I walked, worked with her, I asked her, I said, um, what would you like out of this program? What could I do to really help you? And she said, I want to walk. And I said, okay. I said, then we'll set that goal. And she looked at me like, really? We started working with her about three months before Christmas and she was walking by Christmas. Her family didn't know that she was starting to do this. And so that was her Christmas present that year to see her walk down the hall with a walker. So when you're working with a resident, you know, sometimes uh, they think that going into a nursing facility, that's the end of the line. And I try to let them know you, you still have a whole life ahead of you. Okay, let's do some Grip your hands real tight and open wide 10 times. And one, two, three. Yeah, recently Linda was diagnosed with MS. You know, had she not have told us she was diagnosed with MS, we wouldn't have known it. Um, she hasn't missed a beat. Linda deserves this award primarily, I think, because of her approach with residents and, and the compassion and empathy that she shows toward them. But she gave me confidence that was it what she she's a kind of a person that that can do that i would like to say to linda congratulations for receiving this award uh, everybody give her a big hand because she deserves it thank the lord every day because you know he's helped me get where i'm at because he gave me the compassion in my heart to do this kind of work